today, I am Joe the Builder. Today we got a goose gear right here. Uh, this took, this is just the platform for the trunk. Uh, this, this part took uh, 8 to 12 weeks to arrive. That's what it said and it took around 9 to arrive. So it came about two and a half months later. Okay, so it's supposed to go this way in. We got the passenger side door right here. Oh, this is just a plate. Um, came a little bit roughed up, scratched up on the corners, but, and I think there's a dent right here, but it's, it's fine, it's not a big deal. It's supposed to get roughed up. But back here says goose, as in goose gear. But the front's uh, pretty good, it's just the back that's scratched up. There's a couple of things, but that's fine. Oh, so you have to push down, and you have storage. Should I do it again? Let me do it again, show the people. Yeah, unlock it, and then you gotta push down here on this little lever, and it pops up. And oops, it opens. So to close, you just put it back. You push this down. You lock it, but to open it, you have to push it. You can always leave it unlock. Nice. All right, before we put this on, we gotta pull out everything from the trunk. Honestly, I don't even know where to start. This thing came with no instructions, but the logic is you remove this bottom part out. But I think I need to remove this thing first. So I gotta yank out the storage um, platform so I could work on the bottom. This just got annoying. So what you have to do with the latches is you just have to pop it open with a flathead and it, get, it just gets exposed. And you have to remove every screw. I think you could reuse it, but they also provide um, new ones too. All right, that was pretty simple. Maybe this is a quick, easy install after all. Ooh, my car is dusty. So 
So I've seen some people uh, rip off this carpet, but in order to take this carpet off, you have to remove your seats, which is not ideal unless you're getting the, the entire rear seat removed or the 40 or 60%, which we might do the 40% seat or 60% seat removal later on. But for now, we're gonna keep everything as is. You just put it right down. You got, it comes with uh, two more nails right here. Everything fits in place. Um, comes with a wash and a nail. Put it together. There's supposed to be six. Pretty much where your, uh, your anchors were, that's where you would put it. Now it comes with a bunch of different hoes for a different reason. It's cause um, you can install the shelf system or the or platform if you want, but today it's just just this. We ordered the shelves, but the shelves takes uh, much longer to make. I think the shelves are back ordered because summer's coming up soon. And the ETA for the shelves were three months, so we might see that soon. not going anywhere. Platform is sturdy enough to sit on, so that's good. Once it's uh, laying flat, it's easier to open. The only problem is now, you know how you used to have this giant rectangle space? Now you have to shove your arm in. So let's just put some stuff back. We got our recovery kit has to go all the way in the back. That was our tire kit. This is for our max tracks. We just need this plating system. I realized a lot of this is just lining it up correctly. All right, now don't make uh, this part too tight. Your, your jack and stuff is still under here. So I would uh, screw it in, but not, not super tight. So just cause you have this installed on now, you, for all your recovery stuff, you might want to keep some 
Allen wrenches in the car with you just because you have to take this part out if you ever need your jack unless you carry a separate jack we got everything installed now so we're we're good for now but we're waiting on the goose gear shelves to come in which is going to go right here so imagine this the shelves i'll post a picture right now it's going to go like right here we're thinking about removing these two seats and getting the 60% delete or the 40% of delete whatever it's called but just just sitting on this you can tell it's pretty sturdy the idea is to have a bed in the back as well and a kitchen ow it's very sturdy I like it And because my car is all blacked out already, it gives it a nice sleek look. Um, just know when you step on it, you're, it's gonna get dirty easily. But I don't think people really care about dirt if you own a Jeep. Now you don't need all these tools. All you really need is maybe a torque wrench. This was just to save some time, that's it. Okay. Hmm. It's exactly 18. It's a little under 18. About almost 18. So it's like 17 and a half, I would say. Uh, the reason why we're measuring this is because I want the shelves, but I want to keep this as additional storage because we plan on um, doing super long road trips. And you've seen how, how, this, how well this worked out in my other videos. But because we want a shelf here now, the Goose Gear shelf, we got to make sure this thing doesn't, isn't like too big. There's a bunch of different sizes. I'm pretty sure they accounted for it, but just judging from it, there's like 17 and a half inches of space. And I don't, I don't think I'm ever gonna use these keys like that. I mean, it's gonna stay unlocked most of the time. There isn't anything worth stealing in here. I mean, sure, you could steal the shovel, the, the recovery stuff, but it's just ropes. It's just, it's just um, tire patching stuff. So I like the idea of the keys, but it's not not really needed. All right. If you like this install, hit the follow button. There's more Jeep mods coming because we're gonna get the whole Goose Gear uh, set up. But you know how expensive it is, so we're gonna buy it at, in pieces. Oh, I didn't tell you guys. This is like 550 or something like that, but there is a crazy shipping fee um, when you order from one of their partners from Goose Care. It's like, there's an overweight shipping fee. It's like 150 to $200, depending on where you're at. So this thing really cost me $800, even though the price tag was 550, plus tax, plus shipping, everything, 800 bucks just for this. Like and subscribe.